Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is George Sebastiao, CEO of a Global Blockchain Organization, also founder and CTO of DeFiX. It's a pleasure to be here today with the virtual Artificial Intelligence Conference for Pakistan. We're going to be spending the next 30 minutes talking about artificial um, intelligence and uh, blockchain. So let me just uh, share the slides of my presentation as um, I go through it. So in today's world, obviously artificial intelligence is playing a more important role um, as we move uh, forward. So let me try to highlight some of these key points. As you know, blockchain is an important um, technology as well. And is an important technology because it brings a lot of uh, uh, smart minds in a lot of creative ideas into the a digital transformation space. So the combination of those two is the key uh, elements of my presentation today. Primarily, uh, artificial intelligence has been around for a bit close to 30 years. However, it's only in the last four or five years that AI started to create massive disruption. Now, why is AI creating such massive disruption in such a short uh, period of time? One is primarily that blockchain is about speed as well as AI. The combination of the two have introduced a whole new radical speed at which they are transforming the way we are actually uh, building a new generation of applications. What do I mean by that? Solving in three, two, one. Oh yeah. So look at this playing in slow speed. Basically, a combination of robotics and artificial intelligence is able to solve a problem of Rubik's cube in 0.38 of a second. That's a massive disruption in agility and speed. Much more important than that, AI is also disrupting uh, some of the elements of, for example, recreation of voice. 3.7 seconds of your voice, it's actually enough today to teach an AI system how to 100% clone your voice. Uh, AI itself is also disrupting many other uh, technologies as, as we move forward. And the reason why it's doing that is a combination of many technologies coming together. Obviously much cheaper storage and high availability of being able to store trainable or trained data and the high speed of uh, GPUs or graphical processing units that help us train the AI in a much more effective way. So AI is being introduced into a whole combination of our day-to-day -day lives. Sometimes it's into medical field where it's being used to improve uh, things like diagnostic information uh, or even in some cases assist in the performance of some of the more vital operations that are being done today. AI is also going into our everyday e-commerce life by performing things like chat bots or assisting in the sales of uh, basically uh, products or uh, stores similar to the ones that you have seen in Amazon or Alibaba. But more important than that, AI is also helping our websites serve their customers in a much more effective way. So AI bots are helping power help desks uh, to be much more efficient at providing services to the customers. AI is also being introduced in a rapid way into mobile uh, computing. As you know, today's mobile contains several elements of AI, some of them to do with voice processing and some actually to do with image processing. AI is also making itself into things like manufacturing to help us create industries uh, that through combination of robotics in AI uh, make uh, manufacturing much faster or introduce much better qualities. AI is also participating in war for example, when we talk about drones or smart robots that actually participate in a, a war, AI is actually a key component in the accuracy of these systems or in some cases of weapon systems. But more important than that, AI is participating in all elements of our life. Many of you have heard of the Google car that navigates by uh, GPS. 
Uh, but today we have a Google card that navigates without GPS and it navigates because it's actually using a train robot. So it learns by itself as the car is actually navigating through, through the streets. Another example. AI is also helping solve problems, things like congestion, or even sometimes address things like face recognition if you want to provide better security and things like safe uh, city applications. So what is the key element that makes AI unique? It's the data itself. Without good quality data, AI cannot succeed. So AI needs to collect massive amounts of data from various sensors and various sources, being able to transfer them in an effective way through fiber or fiber over the years techniques, be able to store them, be able to train libraries of data, and then turn this into useful decision-making processes. It's really like AI, it's a better version of the big data that we have been using uh, for many years. And many reasons for that is that uh, big data does not provide us with enough data scientists to be able to solve the problems where AI is actually self-training uh, based on the data that is available. Although AI is disruptive, it has some key challenges. And some of these key challenges have to do with trust, have to do with the source of the data. So if we talk, for example, about the data coming from the sensors, how do we ensure these are the real sensors driving the data? How do we ensure that the trained models are the certified trained models that we have um, provided uh, to the system? So AI in sort needs a form of a seat belt to actually make AI solution a lot more trusted than it has been in the past. Because sometimes the results of AI are not always predictable, or at least they're predictable in 80 or 90 or 99% of the cases. But in this 1%, we are not quite sure what is the end result of AI. There brings us to the importance of the technology of blockchain. Blockchain at its nature is a technology of trust. So by combining both AI and blockchain together, we can achieve a much more trustable AI system by trusting the data that is being produced by the sensors, by trusting the trained models, and by validating the models as we move forward. So the two combined through a distributed system enables us to have a perfect, resilient, scalable, and secure system, an open system to actually train the new generation of AI models um, as we move uh, forward. Blockchain has some key aspects to it that make it quite unique and quite directly relevant to the AI problem that we're trying to solve. One is the decentralization element because the data that we have uh, many times is being collected at the source. Uh, blockchain also provides us with immutable uh, capabilities, which means that once we have stored the trained models, those cannot be tampered with and once they have actually been verified. Other important than that, any kind of transaction that is processed through blockchain also has transparent elements so that the results are actually visible to everyone and thus establish a much more trustable AI system. So the combination of those together introduces a much more trusted and transparent system than the ones that we have been seen in the past, just through the simple implementation of AI as a solution. One of the key elements that blockchain introduces that makes it quite unique is the consensus mechanism. That is the mechanism by which the various nodes that make the decision about the data decide what is the right data that actually must be accepted and must be stored. So if we performing critical operations with AI, could be banking operations, could be medical operations, could be driving a driverless car or some of the examples that I've provided so far, the consensus mechanism driven by blockchain can make AI much more resilient and much more trusted. More important than that, the smart contract technology that is available within blockchain allows us to extend its capabilities even further by extending the blockchain and AI paradigm to actually help us implement 
better uh, contracts in things like, for example, government applications or financial applications or other. One has to understand that if we look at the various layers that exist today in blockchain, they mimic and they go hand to hand with the integration that can be made with AI. As I mentioned before, when we are collecting the data that is driving our AI, what does this include? This includes the IoT devices, the devices that actually generate that data. When we introduce a middle control layer of blockchain, we end up adding an extra layer of trust to the trained models that we provide as part of our solution. This allows us to establish a complete trusted secure mechanism, not just for the blockchain, but for the storage and the decision-making processes that are actually being implemented through the technology of uh, AI. In trying to summarize my presentation, blockchain layers or lowers the control of your risk appetite that for making AI applications much more trusted, much more secure, and much more applicable to applications where there's a high degree of risk, for example, for people's lives or in the implementation of AI. So in short, blockchain reduces the AI risk and makes a much more complete end-to-end -end system and solution for the whole um, ecosystem. But this goes a little bit, actually, in some cases, a bit beyond AI, because today uh, we combine sometimes many technologies together. Maybe we combine 5G, cloud computing, robotics, and AI together. The example that I'm giving you combines both AI, robotics, and blockchain together to achieve a complete, uh, trustable, trained robot uh, to implement a service layer. So any kind of future solution in which we would desire to implement a high-risk solution for AI, then definitely blockchain is the technology to help AI be a much more trained end-to-end uh, -end, uh, solution. And summarizing my presentation, the key elements, when we introduce both the combination of AI and blockchain together, we're able to address both sides. One is the power of AI and the introduction of trustable data into the AI trend model, as well as the validation of the AI trained models. Uh, both can cooperate in a decentralized environment and introduce a much higher degree of agility in the solutions as we implement AI further into the future into our smart uh, systems. At the end of the day, what we are actually doing is building a much more trustable ecosystem and driving much more value by combining these two technologies uh, together. It has obviously been a great pleasure to be with you today for this short period of time. And um, if there is any time for questions, I'll be happy to entertain some uh, questions from the audience. Otherwise, I do invite us to continue this dialogue online through uh, social media, be it on Twitter, on LinkedIn, or through the website uh, by the, our organizers, pickaisummit.com for artificial intelligence uh, 2020 virtual conference. It has been a pleasure to be with you today and looking forward to be with you in the future uh, conferences or in person as this COVID-19 situation improves since uh, uh, vaccines have just recently been introduced uh, to minimize the operational risk uh, of this current situation. It has been a great pleasure to be with you and looking forward uh, to meet you in person in the future. Uh, thank you.